How's it going, y'all? So uh, today we're going to read uh, some Joseph Stalin around 19, or August 19th, 1917. This is called American Billions. So, you know, 1917 is when the uh, the war picks up, you know, before the Soviet Union becomes the government, you know, fully. I mean, there's it's a revolutionary war for the Bolsheviks, you know, become the... Uh, you know, the, uh, you know, win the war, basically. It's just now beginning in 1917. So let's go ahead and get into this. This came out, Works, Volume 3. Um, let see, we got some. So Proletary, number six. So this came out in Proletary, August 19th, 1917. Uh, let, let's do some notes beforehand so we can know what this is. Notes, Ruskie Vedomosti, Russian News. A newspaper representing the interests of the liberal landlords and bourgeois. Founded in Moscow in 1863, it was suppressed together with other counter-revolutionary papers. So let's go ahead and... Um, so now we know what that, what that is. Let's go ahead and, and get into it. What the outcome of the Moscow conference was is now becoming apparent. Ruskie Vodomosti. The, so that newspaper we just read, learned about. August 17th, Evening Edition reports. So this is uh, Roskie Velomosti, Russian, Russian News. Yeah, Russian News says this. At a meeting of the Central Committee of the Popular Freedom Party yesterday, Milyukov presented a report and invited the members of the committee to express their opinions on the results of the Moscow conference. The speakers unanimously approved the principle of coalition. The majority of the members present agreed that the Moscow conference had yielded the maximum that could have been expected of it. And so Mr. Milyukov's party, okay, this is back to Stalin. And so Mr. Milyukov's party is satisfied. It is for a coalition. So this is back into it. The Moscow conference, writes the defenses, was a victory for the democracy, for the defenses that is, which has succeeded in these tragic times in coming forward as a genuine state force around which has rallied all that is viral that is viral as viral in russia it says is vestia number 146 evidently the defense's party is also satisfied at all events it pretends to be satisfied since it too is for a coalition well and what about the government how does it appraise the moscow conference according to is vestia number 146 the general impression of the members of the provisional government is that quote the conference was a council of state in the true sense of the word. In general, the government's foreign and home policies were approved. Its economic program encountered no objection, nor essentially speaking, were there any attacks on the government's land policy, end quote. In a word, the government is also satisfied with the conference, since it, too, it appears, is for a coalition. Everything is quite clear. A coalition is being arranged, a coalition of three forces, the government, the cadets, and the defenses. A, quote, an, quote, honest coalition, end quote, under the trademark of Kerensky, Milyukov, and Sretelli, Sretelli, can at present be regarded as assured. Such is the first outcome of the Moscow Conference. Under capitalism, not a single enterprise can get along without capital. The coalition now formed with the government at its head is the biggest enterprise in Russia. It will not be able to exist a single hour, a single minute, without the necessary capital, especially now in time of war which requires incalculable resources. The question arises, what capital does this new, brand new coalition intend to live on? Listen to Berzovka, August 17th evening, evening edition. Quote, the most immediate outcome of the Moscow conference, and especially the sympathy, the Americans displayed for it. It is reported is the possibility of floating a 5,000 million ruble government loan abroad. The loan will be floated in the American market. This loan will ensure the carrying out of the provisional government's minimum financial program. The answer is clear. The coalition will live on, will live on, will live on American billions, which the Russian workers and peasants will afterwards have to sweat for. A coalition of the Russian imperialist bourgeoisie, Milyukov, the military, Kerensky, and the upper strata of the petty bourgeois that are obse obse obsequiously serving the viral forces of Russia, Seratelli, financed by the American imperialist bourgeoisie. That is the present picture. The, quote, sympathy of American capital for the Moscow conference, backed by a 5,000 million ruble loan. Was it not this that the gentry who convened the conference were after? 
It used to be said in Russia that the light of socialism came from the West, and this was true, for it was there in the West that we learned revolution and socialism. With the beginning of the revolutionary movement in Russia, the situation somewhat changed. In 1906, when the revolution in Russia was only developing, the West helped the Tsarist reactionaries to recover by lending them 2,000 million rubles, and Tsardom did indeed recover at the cost of the further financial subjection of Russia to the West. A propos of this, it was remarked at the time that the West was exporting not only socialism to Russia, but also reaction in the shape of thousands of millions in money. Now a more eloquent picture is unfolding at a moment when the Russian Revolution is exerting every effort to uphold its gains, and when imperialism is striving to crush it. American capital is supplying thousands of millions to a kerensky milyakov strelitelli coalition for the purpose of completely curbing the Russian Revolution, and thus undermining the mounting revolutionary movement in the West. Such is the fact. It is not socialism and emancipation that the West is exporting to Russia so much as subjection and counter-revolution. Is that not so? But a coalition in an alliance against whom is the kerensky milyakov strelitelli alliance directed? Evidently, against those who did not attend the Moscow conference, who boycotted it, who fought it, namely the revolutionary workers of Russia. An honest coalition of Kerensky, Milyakov, and Sretelli, honest coalition in, uh, in uh, uh, quotation marks, financed by the American capitalists against the revolutionary workers of Russia. Is that not so, Mizios, the defenses? Very good, we make note of it. Okay, well that's a very uh, informative piece of uh, Comrade Stalin to give us. American Billions. Very good to know. So, um, well, thank you all for, uh, you know, tuning in. You know, he, he cites these news articles, and sometimes that's what, you know, you, you do is like, oh, wait, here's this article. They're saying this, they're saying that. If these three things, you know, if these three articles are correct here, then this is what we're seeing. Like, this is kind of what's what's going on here. Like, you know, um, so yeah, good, good research on Stalin's part, you know, very much an investigative leader, a scientific leader who, who, um, who fought with the numbers, who fought with the physical mathematics itself. That's what he fought with. He made sure that the workers are not being shorted by their government. Okay. Well, yeah, well, thank y'all for, uh, for, um, you know, tuning in. Uh, if y'all want to follow me online, you know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Tumblr, Medium, all of these, Marks is saw. Follow me there. Y'all have a great day. And Dodada Goey.